I just I just wanna know about the plan I installed. Let me back. I just wanna feel you're alone. Hello and welcome to the Pisslow. The Pisslow. I'm here with uh, Envy and Neymar. How you boys doing today? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sitting down with Envy. All oh, right. Joining me oh. is Jeff and Nay. Wrong, wrong, wrong talk show, Jeff. Yeah, you're not Yo, that old yet. My name's Envy, and <laughs> you're on my channel. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I'm Envy, yeah. and this is my channel. So that's your intro, bro. That's my intro. Damn, we're happy with that. I'm okay. <laughs> Anyways, we'll we'll get right into it because you know we don't all have that like all the time in the world. We're all very busy people, and they are. So, yep. We'll we'll start with you, Jet. Tell us a bit about yourself. You know, how'd you grow up in the world of competitive low elo events? Uh, well, I started playing high elo events like the OOL at the time with like my silver friends being G Man, Limit Testing, uh, Ultimate T and probably Andrew and we just like They're also cheese. silver. Yeah. yeah we, that's we just like way. try to cheese the challenger teams but like lane swapping level one and shit like that. But I don't know. I'm pretty sure we lost every game, but it was fun nonetheless. And then I joined an actual team in Truth Gaming Blue which was uh, Cinder, me, Danger, Shiny, and Isotope. And at the time, I think Shiny, Iso, and I were plat, and the other two were silver or gold, and we played some open tourneys, beat some plat diamond teams, and they were all right. Uh, then after shit went down with Truth, and the players that I liked playing with left, I turned AGC, the community org I was part of, into a team org, and we had... Uh, AGC Auckland, which was Gaydad's alias, uh, Nathan slash I don't know, and Astralia and someone else. Uh, AGC B was the Bronze League at one point until they set themselves up. AGC Catalyst was Dami, Vato, <laughs> Ulti, and I don't know who else they had. Oh, and then Bro, AGC Dusk was the was like the team with Griff and Sparky and whoever. I think it was me and Shiny at one point, and then uh, they changed the rules so we couldn't play, and then we got Moe and Bang Bang. Nah, no, no, you're, you're missing one key era. The, you, the NB era. You, did you start? I don't actually like know the order that it happened. It was too long ago. <laughs> did you start jungle or were you mid? I started. Well, uh, Griff was mid, right? And at the time, this was like peak Griff, so I actually I couldn't take mid over him. It would, you know, it's not. I wasn't great, so I played Java in every game. In the okay, jungle. so you were jungle before Moe. Yeah. Alright, who was the top laner? Uh, Astral? Uncultured. Uh, that was later on, because I didn't know who that was at the start. Nah, wasn't it before Moe came in? Or was it, uh, or was it after? Uh, Uncultured wasn't the, the top laner at the start, though. I found him later to replace someone, I'm pretty sure. I think it was at, it had to be Astralia. Maybe. Oh wait, no. Yeah, I don't know, man. I actually it's, don't uh, know. It was a very, very long it's time cool. ago. Um, maybe it was Moe first, and then Moe ended up leaving because I remember you guys like poached them from the fucking Black Dragon. You took him to end bang. Yeah. Oh. Oh wait, no. It would have been limit testing top. I'm so fucking high, man. <laughs> I I would want to forget him too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would have been limit testing top and G bear AD maybe, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, was that before off. Shiny showed up? Yeah, and then they kicked out G bear and got bang bang. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know the order that happened, but yeah. Something but yeah, like that. Because we're playing uh what was it? It was LLC. LLC, yes. We lost the supernovas, right, in our group, and it was a very, very classic game where Moe died twice before Red Buff spawned. Because red buff didn't spawn till like one fifty at the time. The game wasn't Jesus. as quick, and he was already zero two, right? You know, MSI mouse PK is popping off. They made me play Swain. You know, Bang Bang's classic. I oh, just pick Swain here. I can't play Swain. Just pick Swain. So I'm playing Swain. They all run it down. Jet's phone goes. 
you know, professionalism. But this is all staying in, by the way. <laughs> and then, yeah, we, we lost the game. I got given the spot. And they're like, well, we're going off to join AGC. So I'm kind of left with, like, my dick in my hand because I had no one else on the team. Just three my two off to I did, and we lost. We had to play them in the first round. Damn. <laughs> so this is was... also when you cheated and then shaped them. Well, no, 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 no. That was, that was way later. And well, I, I didn't cheat, right? It's not it's not my fault he has a, an issue. I can't see the ability. Look, that's not even relevant. Okay, he died a lot. But, right, while, while Jip's gone to go answer his phone, how about you tell us a bit about yourself, Nate? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we had to start a brand door as a friend. Mainly because I don't ask by someone, so they needed me for one week, and then I just started a brand of friends for a while. I met Jacob. I made Nendiv and Pat and Damon do him activate. <laughs> Did what? I don't even know. How do I even meet you, Envy? Well, I feel like it was because of the OC in our server. Um, Pretty sure you just ran me DM me. I don't even know how I had you added. I, I I used to talk so much shit to everybody in the Iron the Plate lobbies because it's what I did. And then they BSC announced that they obviously had inside information that was happening. They they were doing like an Iron the Gold ladder, which was Rift Royal. And so I was like, yeah, I grabbed Trashkin and Rogi off of uh, IQ Gap. Because they were both eligible. Um, you know, any of the, the drama aside at the time, right? Yeah, that's true. They were they were eligible. And I was like, yo, I'll grab Nay. Because I'm pretty sure like I I don't think you were like tearing it up in in house, but I knew that like you were solid for a gold player at the time. Oh uh, no, because... I was beating most crowd ADs. I just couldn't verse the diamonds at the time. <laughs> Yeah, so, well, we didn't really play into the Diamonds, unless you were playing yeah. Open Q. But, and then I was like, yo, I'll grab Arcane. Because Arcane was also playing quite a bit of in-house. Um, yeah. And that's also how I, I'm pretty sure that's how I met fucking Genzo. Yeah, you love Genzo. Genzo the boy. I think that's how we met Genzo. Hey, Genzo the gamer. Genzo the um, boy. The same with, the same with Sai, right? But... Because after, after that, you moved yourself to WKW, right? Uh, I donated my points to WKW. <laughs> and I joined them, yeah. Yeah, you're like, yo, here, have have my points. I'm with you now, forever. Yeah, pretty much. That's how it started. I gave my points, I gave Jacob with it. Yeah, I think I'd want to return Jacob right about now. The man calls <laughs> him a lot <laughs> That's my mean? coach, by the way. That's his coach. Not don't, relevant don't to judge. me, I don't care. That's, that's my mid -rain. Don't judge my mid -rainer. He's the boy. Yo, he got solo killed by me. I'm just saying. Official tournament oh, game. It's fine. <laughs> right. He's, he's D2. So, who cares? I'm goal, I was goal four at the time. Uh, anyway. Right, so tell us a bit about why you guys play tournaments. Now or before? Both, right? In the past and now. Ah, uh, because I like playing with people and not by myself. What? Why did I play in the past? RP was a great incentive to play in the past. Let's <laughs> be honest. That's fair, right? Like it was... RP was a wonderful incentive. I had get what fifteen k in total. Is that all? I don't play for long. Actually, to be fair, I. I'm pretty sure I won less than that. <laughs> I, I, I won 15 tay and I didn't have that one to play with RP. It's surprising. Because oh. I won I a lot of heads to head chests. Yeah. <laughs> I won a lot of those. Oh, those were fucking worthless. No, what yeah. do you mean? Those were great fun. I love to get Roddy on with like 100 of them just sitting there. <laughs> oh, you actually got them added to your account? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking imagine. I, I I had a ton of them. In total, I probably had about 400 of them that I got open. It was a fun time. It was a fun time. Well, because trying for Rise was like was my biggest incentive, right? Because I wanted the skin. 
And I remember this is going a bit into like my history. I'm, I'm pretty sure Jep will remember this, but Nay Nay's a bit young. We had BSV Bandits was my original team. It was it was a goon squad filled with shitters. When you look back at it, um, I had my boy Onyx, who still admins at TMG. I think. He kind of ghosted me when he went there. But anyways, I had, I, I want to say Scoot. Scoot's playing jungle. Like old old school Scoot's. I was playing mid, Apple Chain, and then Blue playing support. So like the dream team. Is it... I like Apple Chain. Apple Chain is a good player. Apple Chain is the good one on that team. <laughs> yeah, he was a I've known him since he was called Chef Apple. Like fucking... Ten years, years ago, ago or some yeah. shit. <laughs> um, now, we had very, very many flaws on that team. One of them being the fact that Apple could only play Callista. And I think he can still only play Callista. <laughs> no, he can play more than Callista. He can play now. more than that now. He plays Lucian, come on. Yeah, that's not... <laughs> I've had him in like three of my solo queue games recently. Ah, He's been doing alright. Yeah, I, 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 I haven't had him in solo queue in a while. Um, yeah, so that was the original roster, and then I'm pretty sure we brought in, like, Frostbreak, but we could never win fucking tournament games. Um, outside This was of, when they were open, or is this Iron to Gold? This now? is still Iron to Gold. Okay. And, like, Iron to Plat, because Iron to Plat wasn't a huge thing back then. It was more Iron to Gold. And I don't... Plat, Plat Plus. Yeah, I mean, Iron to Gold was dominated by, like, Dusk, right? Okay. But I didn't down. even play for the team, you okay? I was the manager. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So they were winning everything, right? Up until a point. Right? Because... And then Supernovas got good. No, no, no. Not even Supernovas. Actually, to be fair, Supernovas took MSI, the greatest top planner of all time, and they started winning tournaments. Coincidence? I think not. But... Um, not a point. Um, I guess. I don't know. I'll always remember... I joined Dusk, right, as the jungler, as, you know, a silver free scrub. Just, uh, you know, jump on fucking Griff's bus as he drove me to getting triumphant rise. Ah, so you're not boosted by Griff in 20s, gotcha. I honestly did, eh? Like, was, there was a lot of people great. that subbed for Dusk just for the triumphant rise. <laughs> like, they were legit promised the skin. <laughs> it, was, it, it was honestly a thing back then. And then... I, I left the team, right, for some, some circumstances. I feel like I was cheated, in a way, right? But I, I've been well myself up on S69. And I will always remember this tournament, because it's the only time I've beaten fucking Griff in a tournament game back then. And I was so fucking ecstatic. But uh, I'm pretty sure when, like, 3 and 7 in that game, got carried by Cud, who later on went on to get Diamond... Maybe like three months later. The same with Luna Gym, right? It was the Sona Tarek and Nivea Tarek bot lanes. But. Oh, yes. I actually. Since I have both of you here, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little, a little off track. Players who play in a ELO division and then. They decide that they're finished playing in the ELO division and then rank up significantly. Yeah, hold so up. Who are we talking about here? Who are we talking about here? Hold up, hold up. I mean, there could be they, he could be referring to like countless people. <laughs> There's well, a lot of people. Okay, well, I'll, I'll bring a name from the past, right? So that way we don't step on anyone's toes. Uh, Angelical Rose, right? Jet will remember <laughs> this player. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, who she is, so yeah, yeah. Um, well, sitting gold one, the moment the event ended, suddenly four days later was plat two. Right now, could be getting boosted. I possible. Hey, she's she's still plat two. But I just want your opinion on players who do that kind of stuff. I mean, it shows that they're obviously sandbagging at the time. I suppose. I love using that term. Yeah, how many times do you um, sound bad in jet? Yeah, a lot, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, I'm right. The supernovas didn't even win. Yeah, that's why they're on the radar, right? 
Mm. I mean, you can't really stop people from knowing that, to be fair. Yeah, without, I mean, <laughs> free rank, rank games a week, guys? Free rank games a week? Damn, <laughs> I remember what I had to do that. Uh, it was what the strategy was that when I was when I was playing because I was you know, always sending gold one your know, eighty to ninety LP. Oh, here we the go. Yeah, time. Leaking strats. Leaking strats. <laughs> you, know, you just have to win one and then you just soften two games. Or or hear me out. You do what Hirogi did. You win three games. Set yourself oh in a hundred LP gold one. Dodge Gosh. two of them and go to fucking bed. <laughs> so oh someone screenshots it in the morning, eh? Oh. I, I remember my excuse for that was I just had tried issues. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, making that excuse up. Yeah, oh, I had tried issues. You couldn't see champs, bro. It was like at least fin at least finish the fucking promos, can Like I never have so much shit after that, dude. If you don't dodge your promos, at least dodge your free Come on. <laughs> Uh, he wasn't what... the only one to do it at that time. Nah, though. but he got caught. Right? He was the only one who got caught to do it. Just the point was, if you wanted to do it, you had to do it at 4 in the morning when no one was awake. Yeah. <laughs> so no one could see it. Uh... Uh, but yeah, to fully answer your question, I don't think it's good that like players can do that. But I also don't know how to stop that from happening. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's not any way Because, like, it, it still happens. Like, you yeah. could look at uh, recent players that have been playing Ida oh, Flight and, oh, like, they drop, could be Master drop. Tier or something <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, he's oh, not even Master Tier. Oh, 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 we're talking about Tyranno. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is, he even, uh, is he still Masters or did he drop to D1? I think I he dropped know, to D1. I don't follow that much. Don't worry, but... my, boy, my boy Manu's also Diamond 3. Shout out to Manu. I mean. He sort of did my strat. He just switched to support. <laughs> uh, support players getting carried? No my special team? I'm being honest. He just switched to support and hit diamond. Happens. Well, the the other end of that side, right? And again, we, we, I'm going to reference Griff back in the day, which I'm pretty sure I've done many, many times. But when, when, you're, when you have players in a ELO bracket that in theory they shouldn't be in, do you guys think it's healthy to have them in it? Like, long-term. Short-term, it's not. But long-term. Do I think it's healthy? Like, for the player base. I mean, my opinion is very different to most. To say, I'm someone who doesn't really care about versing those people. To say, you improve off versing them. Yeah. So to me, it was always, say, if they want to sit there, there's going to be a point when they get that worse themselves anyway. Yeah, if you sit in gold for too long, you get worse. You become a gold player, right? Like Yeah. Yeah. You if you wanna sit there, you can probably do it for like half a year without getting worse, but if you sit there for too long you just get worse of a damn. Oh yeah, Nate, do you have any examples for that one, bro? Yeah, Nate. <laughs> don't know what I talked about. Is this why when you came back to Iron Gold you sacked fucking shit? Like, like you were fucking shoveling your own shit as you died every fucking two and a half minutes. In Are you talking to him phase. or me? Both. Holy Am shit. I? Yeah, you both took like three weeks off, right? We were going to make a super team, in theory, right? And then Pixie's the only one who's fucking carrying his load. The rest of us are fucking shoving I mean, themselves. I think the issue with that team was multiple people on that team had different play styles. Yeah. We didn't worked as a team because everyone wanted to play a different way. Me and Arcane didn't work as a bot lane anymore. anymore. Yeah, Arcane's kind of sad. Like, the way that me and Arcane wanted to play lane was very different to one another. So it was an issue. Then I had my mid laner, you know, that TP into the middle of a fight okay, when well, we told him to take split pushing. Look, look, mate, it was one time. Yeah, you know, my mid laner doesn't listen to me and Jep's calls. I'm the true Jep. shot caller. Me and Jet both just say, keep pushing bot. Oh, wait, I'm the TP into five and die. Shit. Pretty sure me and Pixie both did it, though. Yeah, Pixie did it after you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the trendsetter. <laughs> I don't know. This, this uh, we call it. My view on that is I think the team could have worked, but, like, we didn't have... We didn't play together for all that long and didn't practice it together much. I don't, know, I don't think you can expect a team to... Just work straight away. Obviously, some do, but 
Yeah, I don't yeah. think. Yeah. If we had a grade, it would have worked, but then you also defend if I wanted. I didn't want to sit goal this season. Bro, you said goal for like four months still. Shut the fuck did up. I? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. What? When I did prep? Nah, I don't. Well, I don't pay for it. I Did sat you... gold for January and February to play. That's fucking huge. That's close. Two I'm months. Sure okay, I was also hit plat. Pixie's plat at the moment. No, I'm going to be plat in a couple of weeks. Oh, Jetman's going to be plat. Oh. Yeah, oh, 80 carries small. broken, bro. Why 80 the carries support. Why going to be out of my iron to go tournament <laughs> games? Well, I mean, well, I'm not P1. Time to build this. Time to build this. <laughs> Uh, well, it's just a broken I, guess, I, I guess Neymar is one of those players who sat gold and then just suddenly ranked up by getting carried by Peroa. What do you mean? <laughs> My oh, opinion, what, what were we talking about before? Like, uh, what was the actual question or so whatever? The question was, right, a player of higher skill level being in the ELO bracket that in uh, theory they shouldn't be, does um, it, is it healthy? Well, I mean, there's no way to get rid of them unless you're, like, actually targeting that player and you're just like, hey, you're better than your rank shows, get out of the tourney, and I don't yeah. think you should do you that. You can't aim that, which is such an also... Cough, Tyler, cough, cough. <laughs> them being there uh, can definitely increase the skill level of everyone else in the tournament. Yeah. Uh, Great. If they're not there, you can still increase your skill level by playing them in, like, scrims outside of the tournament, but a yeah. lot of teams won't yeah. put in effort and will complain about right. those players. Yeah. It's good back to that DAP. When you got back to when we were a team with DAP and you're Hiroti top, compare with the top trainers what they were before Hiroti started playing and people actually had to learn how to play the role. Yeah, Hiroti truly like, helped a lot of people, you know. They got this shit kicked in for nine weeks straight and then... It was just to get that shit kicked in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I I'm gonna... Fine, we'll use you as the example of Injip, right? When you... On Dusk, right? Because I remember this. You used to, like, tear people up, right? You don't do that playing anymore. Playing on Dusk? Play, or like... on, playing on Dusk. Okay. You used yes, to tear this was, like, up. a while after it actually started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, you used to... Like, you'll pop it off every game, you know, smashing, smashing, smashing. You don't really do that anymore. You're more, you're more quiet now. And I think some of the other junglers, by playing into you for so long, so we're talking maybe a name like Berserker Fury, right? Or, um, who, who's one of the other ones? Maybe like the, like a Will, you know? Like those types of players, you know, you play into the number one person so often, you don't make the same mistakes you used to make into them. And so the the gap is is closing on it, and because you're not you're not playing into players above you, you're playing into players below you. You don't gain as much playing into them as they do playing into you, so to speak. It's why a lot of the like if you have a top iron to gold team, you're better off screaming iron to plat teams than you are screaming iron to gold teams. Oh, what scrims? I just know what Minecraft was. <laughs> yeah, we didn't scrim at all, eh? Minecraft was a great game. I mean, overall there, I agree with your point. I don't think Berserker Fury or Will necessarily learnt much of me. I think Berserker Fury was always good and Will probably... I, uh, don't, I hate to say it, maybe this isn't true, but he probably learnt more off Shuri, with oh! like Shuri being their coach or whatever that he learnt off me. Uh... I, no, I think the only them. player that I would have actually had an ap impact on is Michael, honestly, and that might piss him off, but you can go back and look at MCOM in house Jeff and see, like, his play change. Budget Jib, man. Sure. Uh, I don't even think it was Shuri who taught Will, because Shuri wasn't the coach at the time. It was Kizza. Well, yeah, Kizza Will man. just improved it himself, but, like, I don't think he modeled yeah. his play off, off me or anything. I like, think by the point, plays completely Will... different chips. By the point Will came in, Jeff, North Edge Jeff, but you already pretty washed up. <laughs> fair, fair. You're like, Jeff lost to me. That's okay. someone who like, didn't play that much. Yeah. Well, yeah, I lost to Will at one point as well, and then yeah. everyone's like, hey, Will's the best jungler oh, in the gold. He's not as insane, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I find it funny now. If you beat Jeff, it's like, holy shit, you're the best jungler in Iron to Gold. Good damn.
<laughs> but Jeff wants to just undo the best way of life. Oh, Bro, it happened to me. I died to orphans one time in lane. Next thing you know, uh, orphans is the orphans best. Orphans is better than you. Uh, yeah, that's where that came from. Orphans is better than you. He is high orphans ranked as well. Orphans get fucked. Orphans <laughs> is really good at the moment. Uh, yeah, he is. I just he think he needs to it. work on his mental a bit. Look, I haven't I mean, actually played with him, but like I, I've dawdled from trying uh, Actually, he's definitely one of the mid laners. Uh, if I'm playing jungle, I like to play with. Because he actually same rotates. Right? You like to play with me too? I don't know, you don't need to rotate to my objectives with me. No, you rotate to me. I don't rotate to uh, you. This is why I play, this is why I like playing with orphans. He actually rotates, he comes and invades with me. Rotating is overrated. But, that's what I want for my mid. But moving on, right? We have Division 2 tonight, and Division 3 on Wednesday, on Thursday. Right, I'm I'm not playing, so sometimes you mix mix up the games. Yeah. We'll start with Division Two, right? So in the chat, you guys can see the bracket, and on on screen, if uh, I remember to, you know, put this on here, right? The bracket, yes. You know it to me. So quarterfinals, we have TNS versus Corbup, Resilience Esports versus Kraken Pink, Era White versus Mcom J Dragons, and Team Cerberus versus Stop Asian Hate. So we'll start with TNS versus Corp Up. I just want... Too low. Too low. Just too low to TNS. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. So... There's, not a, there's nothing to say. It's just too low. It feels bad for Corp Up, I guess. I feel like with the Corp Up has been 20 minuted by pretty much every team in those quarterfinals. <laughs> every team here pretty much beat them in 20 minutes. Well, so, so TNS advanced to the semi-finals, right? And then, yeah. so Resilience Esports, if I'm not mistaken, that's Lawrence, Jeremy, Jeremy. right? That's that roster. And I am, and yeah. And then Trap and Pain to that Coach Jack, Ronald. Well, it should be Resilience. Yeah, right? Resilience, yeah Resilience is definitely the harder team to verse. Yeah, Pain into both. Resilience is a lot harder to verse because they actually punish your mistakes. Is it, Whereas Crack and Paint sort of just... I, they just don't do anything. <laughs> I think because they're playing into their own org, right? Because Lawrence is a, you know, Kraken admin, or at least he was last time yeah. I knew about it. I think Resilience take this probably 2-0, just because, you know, you then get bragging rights. I think yeah. Lawrence is going to play out of his mind into Ronald. I don't... I think Lawrence hard gaps Ronald by himself. Uh, yeah. Jeremy is, like, is arguably maybe top three jungler. He is definitely he's top three jungler. <laughs> he's like, the best jungler in that division. You know, yeah, he's arguably the best. And that he's like, the best. You guys don't <laughs> like Sorry, Ring Reese? Well, What about Ring Reese? The fuck? Uh, okay. Ring so, as a mid jungle duo, I'd have a TNS. As a duo, I think Reese and Bots are better than Jeremy and Jason. Jason. Yeah, I think because bots trailer's play style is more evolved around Reese, I think that door is better. Yeah. But as like, individual players, like, Jeremy is got very good. Hey, yeah, he... I mean, this learnt so much from him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Who? Yeah, who? Oh. Anyways, moving on. So in the lower side of the bracket, we have Era White versus Mcom J Dragons. Who we got and why? Uh, I mean, it depends. Is Razzy playing support this time? Did they play? Uh, was Razzy playing jungle this time? I don't know if it's. it's even yet. Have they submitted? Have they not submitted the roster? No, they haven't submitted Probably it not. yet. It's, it's a bit not, early. No, it doesn't. Right. It's meant to be submitted. Get worse when is this coming out? After. It's not coming out tonight, is it? No, it's, 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 no it's there is a right game now, tonight. After, so technically. Oh, Rosters should be in. Right. The only teams submitted: Grizzlyance, Us, TNS, and Dragon Point. Razy will be playing jungle, I believe. I don't even think. Okay, Era, Era, Era White right. two zero. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, Razy, but Era White. I mean, it. Granted to both, I, I don't know. I don't think Mcom Jade is that good. To, yeah, what they should have been. Yeah, they had like a four no had to him into us oh you damn. And they still Wait, didn't beat us. Isn't this the team that now has fucking dog meat? Yeah, they had mischief playing jungle originally. He was like four no on had to him oh you damn and they yeah. still lost for them, which I don't know how. Feel bad man. 
Right. So we all think error. Yeah. Two zero or two one from you guys. Uh, I'm not in. Oh, probably two zero. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say two one because I want Mcom to win this one. Why? <laughs> I like crazy. Do you? Why'd you leave? Yeah, Why'd you leave sorry, the Zorg? Because everyone else on my team wanted to leave. I know, man. You guys kind of they had no teams after you guys left. Yeah, okay. Didn't we leave first? Yeah, we left first. That's why <laughs> I can say that. I think our team just disbanded. Yeah, yeah, and then I was yelled at, and yeah. Anyways, okay. Anyways, okay, but that's moving our on. Team disbands. Four of us played another than that tweet. Yeah, 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 still on the MCOM, right? Like, yeah. Okay, now, you know, you just replaced me with fucking Michael. Yep. <laughs> what a downgrade. Yeah, so, game four. Now, obviously, now you're a bit biased in this one because it's your team playing, but we have Team Cerberus versus Stop Asian Hate. So, I think both of these teams are just like super dog shit, but <laughs> I um... think Stop Asian Hate are slightly less dog shit and they might 2 0. Yeah, but that I mean... fucking support player for Stop Asian Hate just can't play Alistair. Oh, man, no, has no one's pretty crazy though. I don't think they'll let him play Alistair unless yeah, uh, is team one banned. is to play Callista. Apparently his team banned him from playing Alistair and just the ADC that's played Alistair, so... It's doomed. Team Zero is 2-0. Stop Asian Hate have, like, good coaching staff though. Do they? Yeah. 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 They have a great coach. Yeah, but apparently their coach isn't allowed to have the role. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad, man. Right, right, all right. so... We'll just have to get banished in there instead, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, what a downgrade. <laughs> right, so I'm assuming we will have Stop Asian Hate 2 0, 2 1. Right? No? You guys don't think uh... Stop Asian Hate? Well, yeah, works? Stop Asian Hate 2 0. Yeah, we should, we should be able to 2 0 them. Let's go on a check. We don't have me or Jacob deciding it's our end week. Your int week. When's Griff's int week? We offered Griff the int week, and then he just got popped off on his int week, so I don't know. So he technically didn't get an int week. I mean, he, he just passed by his int week, so it's his own fault. Uh, Jacob said two. I've had one. And Parole just ints 24-7. Nah, Parole hasn't really entered yet. Yet? Ah, they said yet. Oh my god. Yeah, he he'll he'll yell at me one day. He'll, he'll yell at me one day. It's fine. Win for a show. <laughs> but you actually to yell at me once once every couple months. Right. So, uh, after that, so we then have, obviously, if this is our, our bracket, we have TNS versus Resilience Esports, and then Arrow White versus Stop Asian Hate. So, TNS Resilience, who wins? I don't What, is Semi's best of fives, or is it still best of threes? I'm pretty sure they're best of threes and then grand finals best of five. Best of three. I don't I, I can't remember. They made an announcement about it, but I don't really pay attention. I don't read the announcements. Anyway, we, we'll assume it's best of three. I don't know. This is, this is hard because, like... Fuck. Well, in our prediction thing, we thought that the bracket was going to be something else, so I didn't have to predict this one. Yeah. But I think... TNS 2-1... Yeah, I did it to TNS at 2 1. Just the, because they the work jungle? better as a team. Yeah. Yeah, fair. I can agree with that. Wait, quick question. Where the fuck is Sonic Boom? Uh, disbanded. I guess they got too good. Anyway. <laughs> right, lower side of the bracket, Era White, stop Asian hate. I. I'm sorry, Nay. Arrow White two one. Ah, uh, nah. I, 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 I see the argument, but you've also got to remember that when we originally versed him, we had Jacob Jundle. Yeah, and he was cracked at Fortnite. We had Drift praying into Kiana, and Drift doesn't understand what Kiana does. Does he understand now? <laughs> He does understand now that Kiana one shots of the set that she got triple sets. <laughs> Kiana is <laughs> fucked at the moment, right? He got that one pretty fast, and uh, we also Paul's got gutted. 
we also found out that the uh, mid laner is also a Tiana Torty Tutrit, and we didn't originally know that. <laughs> wasn't okay. his name Corky, or was he not on that account? No, that his name? name at the time wasn't Torty, it was something else. Okay. Wait, so you're saying your coaching staff, right? This this alleged amazing coaching staff you say you have didn't because he didn't, didn't post it in pre game lobby, but I'm not done. Was with I? Game. I don't know if I was your coach back then. When did I get out of? <laughs> you thought out of No, but yeah, I think we should be able to. And we had a Tommy who hadn't played for Damon three months. Look, not relevant. But like. I'm pretty sure now, with what our roster is, we should be able to get two on them pretty easy. Yep. What do you think? Well, I'm having a look when I was added. No. <laughs> <laughs> you were added after. No, that I was a, I was away week one. Was this week one? Yeah. Yeah, this was week one. It was, we yeah. Was the same on the stream. Okay. Yeah. No. Nah. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, ill wife or stop Asian hate? Semi. Oh, I think stop Asian hate. Uh. I've I, I've underrated Arrow White like this entire time, and maybe I'm just still doing that. But I think Stop Asian Hate. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, Stop Asian Hate. We'll, we'll say two one. I, I, all I want to say is, yeah, if that mid laner wasn't there, the macro is not that good. I've prayed with that mid laner in house, and holy shit, he tells everyone what to do. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> his his macro is actually crazy. Right. Yeah. So, uh, that then, uh, you know, because obviously 2-1 to one in your favour, we then have TNS versus Stop Asian Hate Finals, best of five. Oh, we FF to them. We love them too much, we can't verse them. <laughs> you FF to them. <laughs> I love TNS, I can't, be, I can't verse TNS. Okay, right. <laughs> Jep, what do you think? Uh, I don't know if I should comment, but like I already predicted on... This yeah. life's unvaisable. I think Tidus probably. Yeah, we'll, we'll say three, three one, mate. Three oh, one yeah, Tidus. I'm, I'm yeah. leaning three one. Three one. I had a three one Tidus as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's my own team, but I, I don't. Wait, guys. Also, don't forget third place match. Woohoo! Oh, I think is I there a third place match? match? Yeah, I don't three zero Tidus against man. Three zero resilience over Era White. Ooh. Uh, ever since Resilience put changed the support, they're just so much better. Who they got? Is that is it this? They got this? No, they don't now. NAO, he's actually really fucking good. Look, mate, I I agree with you. He's could be worse. He right. Could be. So the top three teams in the finish is TNS at one, Stop Asian Hate at two, and then Resilience getting third place. I yeah, will say Arrow though, White just with the entire thing. Yeah, like, if Arrow um, White won the whole thing, I guess we've all just underrated them the entire time. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> best, best understory, uh, hello, underdog story, right? Uh, I remember, I think on Jep's original Rated power temp. rankings of players, yeah. Who rated Tev? How about second seed? Ah, uh-huh. and then WKW finished what ninth? Yeah, eight. WKW were ninth. Torbap eighth. God, imagine Corb up getting through. I will Tim- say, I still got abused by Shart and my DMs for FFing the tiebreakers. <laughs> um, to be fair, though, I would, if I'm being honest, I'd much rather have ninth than get eighth and then be like, oh, you have to play TNS in the quarters. <laughs> oh, I'd rather I... not have the misery. Oh, no, I sort of find it funny how TNS have to verse the third place seed, which is just a harder matchup. <laughs> it's kind ah, of funny. Well... We'll, we'll get into that, right? After we talk about the Echo playoffs. Woo! Iron the goal players. Woo. It's Iron the Plat, but okay. Iron the Plat, but yeah, Most sure. Right. The goal players, let's be honest. Right, so first first matchup is Kraken Sapphire versus Below Zero. Sapphire 2 0. <laughs> Sapphire 2 0. Because um, <laughs> Below Zero, I don't know what happened, but Bucking left the team. What? Wait, eh? Yeah. Which <laughs> this is, is weird. recently? Uh, maybe like a week ago? <laughs> when he found out they were versing Kraken first round? Nah, that nah, was before <laughs> that. <laughs> They're right. Look, come on, man. He's a nice guy. Why are you going to do him like that? No, nah, fuck. It's alright. But yeah, 2-0 Kraken Sapphire. Pretty easy. Now, Weekend Alpha. 
This is basically challenging. I have a quick question before I make my prediction. Shiny's back, right? Shiny is not playing at least game one. Oh! We will stick with Sparky Matty bot lane. Ah, oh, that makes it harder. I... Here, here's my thought, right? Because I might as well make my thought first. I think basically Challenger win game one. And I think you guys win the next two when Shiny's back. Okay. Well, what do you think, Nay? I mean, uh, I'm not Toa. I have faith in Chap. <laughs> if Chap doesn't Toa, I'm not be disappointed <laughs> in him. I'm sure Jake will uh, crack the whip. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I think if we did lose game one, it would be very hard for us to win game two. Uh, just because of people's mentals probably ah so you're saying g bear has shit mental okay well not just g bear but like <laughs> yeah no, our, our team is sort of like stop asian hate in that aspect i suppose if you had to lose the name you tilted and you're just done do you not it's kind of like, like... I, i've had people tilt mid game before yeah, i'm just like it. shut the fuck up we're winning i've heard it i've heard it well I... Not to say that I don't ever tilt, yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on, we all know that. Come on, we all Yeah, we've, we've seen the clip of me flaming envy mid-game. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty, sure, I've... What I'm pretty sure I did it to envy a lot as well. Yeah, calm down. Envy's I'm sure everyone's framed Pretty's envy mid down. Guy. Well, I don't know, because if, if you guys do lose the first game, which I do think you might, when is there not like a mental reset the moment you see, fuck, we've got shiny back? Right, we have arguably the best AD carry in the in the comp back. Is it not like a level of, like, what's the one I'm looking for? Like, you know, you've just had like an energy drink. You know, you got the fucking, the boost back. Because yeah. the AD carry is here. I mean, with shiny back, scrims have been going uh, well, but I think... Even before that, recently scrims have been going better, and like I don't think Sparky Matty are bad bot lane by like a long margin. I still think that they're probably one of the better bot duos. Like Sparky doesn't play AD carry, but on the like few ADs that he does play, he can still deal a shit ton of damage. Yeah. Right. So we're, and then and then we have right Team Blackhawk. Versus Galaxy Gaming. I... Uh, it, should, it should be 2-0 Blackhawk, right? Not real. I don't know either of the teams. <laughs> um, it's like Zalakus and the other guys. Oh, uh, uh, then yeah, Blackhawk should win. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think guys. it's Blackhawk 2-0. Um, now, the bottom of the standings, right? We got my boy Flame in his... I can't even say the name. Go Guru Yodong. Go get. Go get. Well, yeah, go get. Okay. And Stormwolves Academy. Stormpops? 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 We. Stormwolves 2 0, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, uh. I'm pretty sure it's Optimistic Shuri. Uh, Doesn't Seraph. matter. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, sure that it, that's Seraph, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So not your bot. And then the bot lane. Arcane, right? It's it's probably I think it's Greg and Arcane or Genzo as a sub. I think it has to be Greg and Arcane. I, I don't think be. they're allowed they to sub to them. Dread. I find they have to play Dread. Why? Well, but yeah, Genzo I'm not too because sure. Because the whole thing of they don't you do not use an Arden or so they have to use Dread. Look, mate. <laughs> Yes, we're not getting into this right now. That's for another drama episode where I can get all the content out of orphans. Alright, Gogurt beats basically Challenger 2-0 yeah. last week. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know how they managed to do that, but it, if, uh, I don't know. It's they could be Storm Wolves. I'm going with it to be either team, but no matter what, I think it's probably a 2-1 to either of them. Professor Cop out. You gotta fucking name one of them. 
Uh, I'll say two O Snorwolves just because I think they have like the better roster, but like yeah. I I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm trying to find who's Dodot's bot. <laughs> Who knows? Um, right. You can very easily bot with that team. Yeah, you can very easily bot with Stormwolves. Yeah, because Greg and no offense to Arcane, but they're the weakest part of the team. Right. Like, if, easily. If a team understands you just punish the bot line, you can sort of just reroll your turn pretty easily. Yeah, because yeah, it doesn't matter. Fucking yeah, mental it game. doesn't matter if you win topside. Yeah, if yeah, if the enemy ADs that turbo fed, you that every dread, you just that sort of shit on. <laughs> yeah. Which is, uh, it, it's very different to solo to you. <laughs> yeah, so, I, I, I think if they get a lead early, or if they like completely win game one, I think go good. I think like, Dota. Dota's even two zero. Yeah, but yeah, if Storm was, mental, right? if Storm was win first game, I'd give it to them get two zero. But if Dota one day won, I think they tour. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's a very weird game. So shit, you've got two different win cons on both teams. Yeah, you can. If Dota is smart, they just play to tilt the bot lane, and it tilts Shea as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shea will mental right? boom. Shea mental booms FS game too. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have to be able to get a roster to give a first right. Okay, uh, I'll 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 off Dota for this one. Oh, man's out here making some spice. Right. So in the frame. semis... Oh, why don't I finish your point first? Right, frame did hit Pratt. Okay, calm down. He's still shit. Uh, Pratt. I think he's he's probably, like, one of the better players on that team, though, right? In yeah. the team, yes. In the and I don't know if, like, though. the rest yeah, AD is of them are, like, good. able to actually punish their ball. Oh, like, wait. No, they've got Lucky as the AD. No, no, no. I think Lucky's a way better AD. I like that dude. That dude's a good ADC. I've had him sorry to you before on the Smurf. Okay. It's a pretty good idea. They might drop it out the fact he plays on Smurfs. Oh. Oh, I just. I play on Smurfs so at 8 in the morning and I don't want to send you for 40 minutes. <laughs> Bro, you're not that high. played at 8 in the morning. Use. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll come uh, back from the gym, eh? And then they's like fucking stole him. I was like, Bro, have you been to bed? He's like, Nah, we on that grind. Bro, you're not even on your main account. We on that grind. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh... Right, semis. We have Kraken Sapphire versus Weekend Alpha. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what, what do you think? Who's gonna what do you win? Think be? What's your well, why is it gonna be me first? You first, man. You're not this. You guys, no, no. Take a guess at where I'm leaning. Get on, Sapphire. Yeah. I mean, Sapphire's yeah. your number one team, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Sapphire's um, just got a jungle diff, me. I said if anyone could jungle diff you, it was you. It was him. Right? Um, I I then, after what I saw the fines do to them, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I gotta take the video down before any more people see it. But, obviously, with the fines gone, you know, we, we sitting pretty. But, I do think... Crack and Sapphire take to us. Um, because, now hear me out, you guys have been showing weaknesses in your games that weren't shown before. And I just think a player like Samo, because he does do prep, right? He does he does a lot of prep going into games. He will He'll have the prep and the draft down... To where I think he can get two games off of you guys. I think it's 2-1. But I think he takes it. For his team. Fair enough, fair enough. You know, plus Kaneki's not too bad, right? It, it could be worse. Um, no, well, K- I... Kaneki's definitely, like, one of the better ADs in the he's tourney. At, he's at top 4 AD. Well, I think Samo's, like, one of the better junglers as well. I think Kaneki's probably 4th best AD. And the few. Other than that, I do put Dodot's AD above him. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go. So, Dodot's um, AD is plat 4. <laughs> Gnecki was plat 4 too at one point. Yeah, but I also saw him play at 400 games of gold. I think, as far as like the ADs go, it's probably like 
Shiny, Sparky, G Bear, Kneki, and me. Okay. That's like the top four. <laughs> top nah, five players you're, the you're, dis <laughs> you're disrespecting Godot's AD. Okay, okay. You're, I've seen him pop off. He carried fucking Flame to Pratt. <laughs> he also carried Flame to a top eight. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually be sad if we're better than the top eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dude, like fifth seed, right? Are they fifth seed? Yeah, they're fifth seed. <laughs> Bro, imagine being fifth seed and being happy about that. <laughs> Bro, we can't even pull fifth seed. Respect for that. That's so bad. Fifth seed or nothing. Anyways, I'm assuming you both are picking weekend. I mean, I'm not, in, I, I'm not alpha because I think. Sapphire's Edo is a bit better at the moment, and they've done a. They're, they're probably. I don't know if they've done an Edo draft a bit. Uh, I don't know if they will Edo draft. I don't know. Uh, I, I definitely think that, NBA like. <laughs> I think that being like an Iron the Plat team coming into this, uh, they should be, like, expecting nothing below first place in this tourney. But yeah. with that being said, I think they would take draft seriously. I mean, the only reason I'm dying with I don't know. I reckon they, there's a chance they either after hearing how they talked about when Envy was playing with them. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, shit talking. Oh, I heard it. Are you talking about when I was drinking? Yeah, yeah, it was fucking. Yeah, that's shit talking. Yeah, it's not my fault Pixie lost the fucking lane. <laughs> yeah, kind of been shit talking Pixie a bit. But. <laughs> I think that will just like fuel Pixie even more. Pixie has just done a pop the fuck off and so, Stretch has done a battery old. So Pixie's gonna take the fuel so he can run into the tower, okay. I mean, I don't think Stretch is that good of a top ranger. Look, uh, neither did I. <laughs> I think we did. Yeah, sorry. Uh, our last game against Kraken wasn't close. I, I think our draft was bad and our play was bad, but with like. Over the, if we get through round one, I think our roster should be in a solid spot for semis, and I think we can 2-0. Because, like, yeah. in our minds, anything below first is also a failure. Yeah, as so. it should be. Anything below first for any fucking team is a failure. No, it's at my second place. It's <laughs> fun. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't. TNS have to win, bro. Yeah, because you can't beat them. Nah, TNS the boys. <laughs> TNS <laughs> kids. you can't beat them. Anyways... Okay, well, but I mean, like, a team like Alpha or Kraken expecting to come yeah, first, yeah, and a team like one. Galaxy Gaming expecting to come first okay. is a bit different, right? Okay. Like, I feel like, no, like, they they are considered more of an underdog than the rest of us, right? Because they suck. Why is Bronze League not here? They don't want to play, right? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. What <laughs> MCOM? We'll, we'll have a uh, okay, because, well, do you want to go into the MCOM Knights thing, or no? I... <laughs> let's finish the rest of the bracket, and then we might as well bring it up, because it's fucking yeah. hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, I don't alpha. Right, so you guys both get... Okay, here we go. And then, so on the bottom side, we have Black Hulk versus Stormwolves Academy. Hey, man, it's Darby Dota. Did it go good? Did Jeff pick go good? <laughs> Uh, Jeff put Stormwolves. Uh, I picked Stormwolves. I think <laughs> whoever they man? verse, I think Blackhawk beat. Uh... You'd hope Blackhawk beat. Really? It should beat everyone on bottom side. Wait, bottom wait, side wait, isn't wait. that good. Wait, wait, really? I, I mean, they are the second seed coming into this, right? Yeah. Who the fuck is? We well, scrimped them the other day. I don't I don't think Blackhawk are a bad team. I think they're a top eye and a gold team. I, yeah, I think Blackhawk are door. definitely better than Storm Pops. Uh, I I think Stormwolves has the issue of their bot lane being garbage. Sorry, I can, but it's true. Um, yeah, and Blackhawk's bot lane is like one of their strongest lanes. I think Hu Huya is like one of the best supports in the competition. Yeah. Bro, did you see Brinny fucking gap orphans? <laughs> in the mid lane, it was fucking hilarious. I'm <laughs> sort of just Blackhawk. Yeah. I'm not I mean, all of Blackhawk are really good players, and they work. I just well, don't like team. the org because <laughs> fuck explicit. I'm dying. We have to want to Yeah, I don't know much about the org or explicit, but I think yeah. Blackhawk 2-0, I guess, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, I'm going to say Blackhawk 2-1. <laughs> I, I think I think Seraph and Shiri get your one game. But the liability in the bot lane, 
I don't. You know, there's a chance, and I'd be I'd be happy if they did because then I got, you know, to get to see Alpha and Shuri in the finals. <laughs> Think about the rivalry, but the new country. Well, I thought yeah, I thought Kraken to the finals against. Kraken so on your mind, probably. Uh, no, 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 but in this in this bracket, right? Because you both picked <laughs> Alpha. You yeah, but you're saying Kraken, so you might yeah, as well yeah, yeah, yeah. stick I'm, with it. I'm going to fuck you. Okay, oh, yeah. it, was, it was a lapse. Right, grand finals, based on you know this three of us here. We've got Alpha versus Blackhawk. Alpha three one. <laughs> yeah, the winner out of Alpha and Kraken, I think three zero. Is the finals. I I'm so three one. There's there's a chance that Alpha's coach just won trades for draft in one game. Yeah, there's sweet. a chance that we just fucking draft for ourselves. <laughs> he was so pissed the other day when we scrimmed and like didn't add him or whatever. Uh, or Pixie did add him, but he didn't get it. Yeah, I, our um, drafts were sort of dog shit, but we still managed to like. They were our pretty bad drafts after what I saw. I... Yeah, but like, I I'm happy with my picks in them. <laughs> Yeah, I had your jungle pitch. Your jungle pitch's all good. But you had the rest of the team. <laughs> right. But... Thinking about it, I think Blackhawk gets you one game. Right? I, I think Blackhawk okay. gets one game. Because. Now, I'm actually going to give reasoning instead of Nays just 3 1. And then that's I mean, it. I'm not. I said 3 1 because yeah, the coach is on an inter draft. Well, I'm saying 3 1 because Zelikus is going to flip that fucking coin. It's going to land on heads, and he's going to come out and be fucking 6-0 at 5 minutes on a lease in one of the games. On a lease? Yeah, because somehow a lease is getting through draft, okay? But it's... How has he ever done no lease? Well, I... I, uh, Someone's going to I don't think we would ban a lease against him. I'll See? just say that. See? Yeah, it's, it's ego time. I don't think the lease is that crazy, though. Yeah, but it's... Well, I, I don't know how good his lease is. Honestly, I don't know if I've actually seen it, but I don't think a lease is, like... At least it's pretty dog shit. Look, mate. It happens, right? But... At least bad champ. So we, we have Alpha winning Echo playoffs. Yeah. Ooh. And then, or however... Kraken. Or Kraken, right? I, have, yeah, just... I personally think Kraken. Whoever, but... whoever comes out of top side is winning. Yeah. yeah. And then we have the third place match. I'm assuming we're still going Kraken, Sapphire, or Kraken. Alpha, whoever loses. Yeah, whoever yeah. top yeah. side just comes <laughs> loser first. Loser 3 yeah. <laughs> Top side just 3 0. God. Whoever made it so one place free. Oh, mate. They fucked up the bracket so much in Echo because. Uh... That's a fucked up in Jabber. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, Gamma, you can still see a bit more, like, upside, right? With Arrow White technically being, like, second seed and, and, and like, there's, there's more, there's, like, more teams at the top on Gamma, whereas Echo is kind of, like, a two-horse race. Echo is just a four-team race. Yeah. Or Dammer. There's just four teams competing in Dammer. Whereas Echo is just two. <laughs> I don't think, like... I think one verse four in semis is better than one verse three. Yeah, but, one verse four uh, makes more sense. I I don't think one verse three is necessarily that bad. I just don't think that we deserve third seed. Outside of like, if all our roster issues shit didn't happen, I don't think we would have got third seed. Nah, easy second seed. Yeah. <laughs> second, sure. Hold off second. Um. <laughs> That kind of ties into my, my next point, right? So, these playoffs don't have a loser's bracket. Or, first seed don't really get much of an advantage of, you know, being first seed. Outside the fact that they get to shit stomp eight seed. And then they get to play third seed. Instead of, in my opinion, they should have the option of playing whoever they want. Of the, like, three teams. Kind of like LCS does it. Uh, I read LCS's format a lot more than this. I find it, LCS have a much better format. Yeah. Which is just actually a loser's bracket. And it also ties in with eight teams. Yeah. But I guess yeah, they just didn't want to do first an incentive for coming first that much. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you did a verse apes you did a verse eight C team in the first round and that side selection, you know, cool. But what if we get like one day that we just lose two games in a row, we're just out. Yeah. Or... After coming first, uh, to that here, 
we yeah. just get knocked out basically straight away. I just don't get it. I'd I'd, I'd be pissed, right? Because you yeah. don't, you don't get the miracle run. Um, yeah. Yeah, eighth or... seed should have to start in a losers bracket. That's just how it should be. Oh fuck off! They don't, I <laughs> I myself think having eight fucking seeds of ten teams is too many teams. I would have because... said sits made sense. It sits is understandable. Because all they would have had to do, right? Because what was um eighth team's score? Was it like three and six or some shit? Oh, do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? Well, the for Div two, Echo? they only had to win. Two games. No, 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 no. Uh, well, that's win one game. They sorry, win one the game. They went technically. They only won one single game. Yeah. Call that one against Academy. That's it. Of course they did. Because it's <laughs> against. Well, not is it? What is the other name? Ronald. Ronald. Yeah. Ronald Rod Rod just FF'd. So then, yeah, everyone got a free one. Yeah. So we only there was only one game to call that had to win. To that into top eight, and, and they which, got it right. Which, yeah, I it, it's a fucking waste because it was whatever six, eighth team came in just loses a damn. Yeah, well, the <laughs> same with Echo, right? With we've we've got zero gets completed, butt blasted by Sapphire, easy, right? Like a warm up series. Yeah. Um, but it's just it's so weird. I myself, right? You have you pretty much do the LCS format. But seven and eight start in losers bracket. Um, and then it's what three plays six, uh, four plays five, and then one and two are seeded directly in semis. Yeah. And then that way, again, one gets to pick who they want of the two play, like two teams. Yeah, one to choose. Like, do we want to? Which one of these do we want to verse? Does it to be like a fifth seed win and third seed win? That'll be like, oh, I one of us fifth seed. Or yeah. sit seed one and fourth seed one, they'll be like, okay. We'll take sit seed. Well, I mean, because I, I I was I was talking to someone right, and I was trying to explain that having the pick of who you get to play is very valuable. Um, and I was yeah. referencing back twenty sixteen MSI. RNG got first seed in the group, and SKT got fourth because they ended up going zero two to Flash Wolves and they lost the game to like CLG. Yeah. Or some shit. RNG then had to play SKT in the fucking semis. How unlucky is that? Yeah, and that's the only reason CLG made it to the finals that yeah. year. Right, whereas there's no way RNG picks SKT, right, no. if, if they have a choice between that and Flash Wolves. You'd always take Flash Wolves. Yeah, because like they, they had the ability to upset the Korean team and best the ones. But they, there's no fucking what, way they'd be able to do it in best of five. This is what had it though, was like, SKT lost, the f- like, they went, in the first three days, what, they went one and two, and then they won, and that's four days in a row. Yeah, and they went, like, one and one with RNG in the group, right? And yeah. It was, like, G2's, like, flame out fucking, I, I, I think this is before the vacation meme, right? Because it wasn't 17. Trey Seventeen was the whole world's vacation yeah. G two and eight. Um, but but yeah, because if if that bracket goes differently, or if there's a losers bracket, you end up seeing SKT RNG in the finals, because that's those were the two best teams. But you end up seeing the best fucking match in the semis instead of the finals, and the finals are shit because CLG had no business being there. Um, and really? I kind of, I kind of see the same thing happening in these playoffs. On, like, for both brackets, because I myself, I'd love to see fucking two best of, like, a best of five of Kraken, Sapphire, Alpha, and a best of three, right? Because you get to yeah. see how the team adapts. Uh, yeah. Um, but we're only going to see it in the semis, and then we're not going to see it again. So even like, though... th- oh, I'll let you make your point. I was just going to say, I think with like the BSV circuit and the ECB circuit that happened at the same time, uh, it was like us and emote spammers every time, right? And I think yeah. one was like 3-0, then it was like 3-1, then 3-2 or some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it got closer as like teams adapted to different shit. Yeah, we nearly swept you fuckers. Yeah. 
<laughs> with my crazy stat line of I got zero kills in the games we lost. Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I just don't have to react to the formatting, but right. If that's how they want to do it, then that's their choice. I I, I just think for competitiveness, it kind of fucks it, especially when you then put three on the same side as one. I mean, yeah, you go to Div One. <laughs> Get weekend now after places, which is not a matchup that they wanted until we had finals. No. But again, they've decided to make it less competitive for the finals, and it's what it is. But Jeb mentioned something, and I, I do want to bring this up because this is fucking juicy. When when Defiance Gaming lost their spot, I'm, I'm assuming this is where where we're going with this, Jeb. When Defiance lost their spot in Div 3, because Vincenza... It wasn't even Vincenza, right? They they were caught a count someone sharing. Someone else's account sharing, yeah. Um, and so they forfeited their spot. And because of the whole Stormwolves shake-up thing, right? The, the split. Shuri got given the Stormwolves position... Every person who played Defiance Gaming got given a game win. And then, what was it, Vigi Academy? I think that's what they called themselves. Yeah, the yeah. German Academy. It started yeah. off 0 6. Yeah, it's, it's, that's a 3 0 to try that in, and they yeah. failed. Yeah, because they, they lost the last game in, like, into Black Ox or some shit. Yeah. Now, with the way the battle fight worked. Because it was 10 per division, and MCOM had fucked it up, you know, the registering of, of their Iron to Gold team. Yeah. Uh, because I think Cavi had, from what I'd heard, Cavi had, like, messed it up somehow. So, you know, it happens, right? They, they had to sit it out. Now, I know some of the players over at MCOM were unhappy that Vigi Academy got the spot, because the way it worked or was meant to work, is when when a team was kicked out, or if a team left, or, or something, that team is supposed to come in. Yeah. And so, technically, that spot was rightfully MCOMs. Oh, it wasn't even rightfully MCOMs, to be honest. Huh? It was meant to do the bronze sword, if it was done out of any team. <laughs> well, actually, I just took yeah, yeah, yeah. for it. Well, Bron Sword was ahead of them in registration. No. Okay. <laughs> so, right, I, I don't... Right, if they're arguing it, right, they're arguing it for Bron Sword, but... It's, it's, still, still, it's still the same argument, though, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but I I do remember some of the admins, I didn't realise it was meant to go to Bron Sword, uh, that they had said it wasn't going to MCOM because MCOM had too many teams. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a good That isn't even a good reason, yeah. Because you have weekend or four. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, because you got the two Div One teams, the Div Two team, and then you have Alpha and Div Three. Yeah. Uh, whereas MCOM had their Div One team, the Div Two. Two Div One. Two Div One. Two Div One and then a Div Two. Yeah, which would put them on four of the same as weekend, right? Just not weekend. Just has a lot more backing in terms of like the fans. So to speak. You'd have more viewers of having yeah. the weekend in your streams. To just get all the weekend people to come support you. Yeah. Right. So so that argument was kind of annoying at the yeah. at that, right? Because you're like, oh, too many teams. There's better but, arguments that they should have said, right? Uh, the fact that half of the Jewan Academy had already played in the circuit and pretty much just got tipped off the spot. Yeah. Is how, what they should have said. Yeah, they just got removed. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a weird one, because it came like, like they have no business even trying to get a top eight spot. They 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 could have. It was very very fucking close. Yeah. And if the schedule was different, and instead of having to play Black Court, they had to play another roller seat ten. Yeah, they probably make it in, and then we're not talking about below zero. It's Kraken Sapphire vs Vigilant Academy, which is a lot yeah. more of an interesting matchup. Yeah, and it should go either way. I still think Sapphire takes it, but it could go either way. Um, but yeah, I just think they've dropped the ball on on like not listening to the people because a lower bracket would be so much better 
first yeah. seed should get some kind of fucking benefit than, oh, you get to play the eighth seed. Because there's a world where the eighth seed could have been one of the better teams, right? Because it could have been Vigi Academy, which, you know, you'd just... probably say is a top four team. Easy. Yeah. Easy top four. Right? And then, so, because Kraken Sapphire got the one seed, they get fucked in the ass by having to play a good team. Yep. But, on to... Unless, do you have something else to say about the topic, Jip? Uh, I agree. I would have liked to see a loser's bracket format for the finals. Uh, I think it doesn't necessarily... Like, that's just my opinion that I'd prefer a loser's bracket. I think it's still fine with like just the single elim, but yeah. I think it should have been first versus fourth. Even though there are arguments you can make for first versus third and second versus fourth, I think first versus fourth has the stronger arguments. Yeah. And with the MCOM Knights thing or Bronze Hawk thing or whoever was like actually in line for the spot. Uh, I don't know if it was in the rules, but I think it should have been in the rules. I think they should have had a rule for um, roster breakups, because while they may use the excuse that this is the first time they've done a tournament like this, the divisions don't actually um, impact like any of these rulings, really. And you've yeah. had like issues like this happen before. You had it with the last circuit where... Um, what were they called? Uh, it was like blue uh, blues team or some shit like that. The two, the team, uh, the team that Toot was managing, like broke. Oh, up the and... Fury Agents team, yeah. Yeah, one eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. So that team like did the same thing that Stormwolves and Vigi Academy had, and like you have to have a way of determining who has the spot that should have been listed in the rules already. And, yeah. Yeah. Like I don't have a problem with Vigi Academy taking the spot. I feel bad for them getting kicked from the org. But there, sh if there should have been rules saying like who gets the spot if a spot becomes available. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's everything I have to say on that. Right. Now, the juicy one, right? I have heard through the grapevine that BSV are looking at rebranding. I. I feel like I am the person who get who has the right to speak on this the most, as I was in the previous BSV, um, helped build the current one from the ground. Obviously, I didn't do a lot of work. I was just the, the guy there behind the scenes talking to people, as that is my role most of the time. I'm the, you know, if you have an issue, you come to me and I'll go crack some heads for you, because it was fun to do that. But... I I personally think a rebrand is good. Um, as the name stood for Bullshit 5. And with... Now, here's a little, little bit of insight. Riot didn't like that. So, instead... So, it stayed as the B, but instead of Bullshit, it became Bronze Standard. Which is... You know, it's not, it's not bad of a name. It's, it's, right now. it's it's not great, right? But because we were coming from the the in house server and like the community, we like we kept the name because that's where three of us had met each other, right? We we all came f together from that. I I had made the BSV Bandits team at the time, and so we started it up. You know, along the way, more people joined the staff team. And then some people left, I myself included. I then went back, um, people along the way. And then now we're at the point where I, I feel like they need to change the name. Because a lot of the past bad stuff, and like there's there's been some bad stuff, especially behind... And in front of the scenes. Um, with the previous ownership and the management team. Obviously it's not it's not fair for me to go expose what people had done. In the past. So we were talking like generally. Um, 
as long as the name doesn't like suck shit and the logo is actually a nice logo, I'll I'll be happy with a rebrand. I think it'll be good for everybody. So by rebrand, you mean like name change? Like name change, new logo, like like kind of like a shake up of identity. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to leak your source? I do not. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you, if if I gave you a name, would you say that it was not <laughs> them? If it wasn't them? Nah, because depending on who <laughs> it is, I might want to get them in trouble. Okay, because they uh, they're immediately gonna blame Jiva. Of course they are. And me. Uh, yeah, of course they will. I, I was, I don't know, I was, <laughs> I was associated with some shit the other day, and had that blamed on me and Jiva, despite <laughs> me saying that it was not either of us. Uh, I know one of us as well. And, I, uh, yeah, okay. It was uh, the, you who did it. The, the rebrand thing was also mentioned at one point there, and I, like... Sort of joked about it, despite having heard what you've heard, probably from the same person you've heard it from as well. Ooh. I just really don't care about a rebrand. Uh, like it could be good for them, but I don't think the wow. name matters all that much. I think you just need to focus on actually bettering the events themselves. Yeah. Just like Tyler, for example, will make a new org every two weeks, and no one plays in his shit events. Oh, just rebrand to YOMG. T-Y? UMG, oh, please no. I still have the image if anyone wants to buy it off me. Oh, I have the image too. Sharp nay, I need money. I also still have the battle fire for it as uh, well if anyone wants that oh, off I, me. I have the overlay for, for the oh, stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I had heard this like ages ago as well, that they were always that they were thinking it because the, the the leadership which had the BSV name which was you know dusty blue edgy myself it's because we all came from there and we were wanting to make BSV something bigger but now the it's a bunch of new people right like Josh has been around for quite a while but some of the other people in like the management team are are newer and didn't didn't come up with the same BSV that we did. And so that's why I think the name change is suitable because it's a different bunch of people. But I I also agree, right? Who the fuck cares what name it is if the tournaments are shit? Right? Yeah, like it took them how long to find evidence that Defiance were account sharing or whatever? <laughs> I feel like... Some of the uh, newer admins aren't even taught how to smurf check. I sent two to like a spreadsheet. I don't oh, know so we name dropping people, stuff. are we? Okay. Well, yeah, I'll name drop this. I sent him a spreadsheet on like, uh, I was asked to like write up some basics on how to smurf check people, and I don't know if it was passed along to other staff or not, but like, I definitely feel like there's some newer admins there that don't know how to smurf check, and they should, and Defiance, if they were account sharing, should have been picked up earlier, I suppose. Like, I get that it's a volunteer position, and it is a lot of work to go through uh, all your participants in depth beforehand, but most of the rosters are submitted beforehand, so you have, like, a bunch of time to go through everyone. Yeah, well, for Circa, you had a lot of the teams that signed up while you Two weeks before Circa even started. Yeah. Teams you could have, have, way you could have been going through it for like two weeks. I I have, I have a I have a point, right, on, on that very, very topic, right? Because we're talking we're not talking about the experienced admins who have been there for a while who like know what they're doing. We're talking about the new ones. I I feel now this is without talking to any of them, but just from the stigma I've gotten that they are afraid to make the wrong decision. Because a lot of the decisions at the moment, they get overturned yeah. by, by the management team. Which is a bad look, because 
if you can't even trust someone on your tournament admin team to make a fucking decision, you might as well not even have a tournament admin team. At that point, just have the people in charge doing everything. Yeah. Which is, you know, not great, right? Because then they're going to be run down and they're doing too much. But you gotta, you got to start having faith in the people who you bring in. If you're overturning everything that you're doing, you're pretty much already doing everything yourself anyway. Yeah. So what is the point in the admins being the other to send a distort call? Yeah. And, oh, can you drag me into this channel? Oh, sure I can. That's yeah, I got it. you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. Right? Um, otherwise, one of the big wigs will come in and be like, why'd you do this? Well, you don't. We're not doing this. We'll do it like that. Did they submit a ticket? Well, fuck them. <laughs> I remember the days when you still DM an admin. Oh, I still do that, right? And it's wrong. Well, yeah, I still DM admins too. It's easier. It's so much easier. You talk to the admin who will actually deal with the issue, not 17 who can't. Not for. Uh, and that whoever responds to your ticket has to respond every time, apparently. Well, well, I mean, that's how it should be, right? Like, yeah. that's how we had to set it at ACB at one point. Otherwise, you get, like, two admins with two different opinions. So yeah, but then, like, don't, different things. don't respond straight away and then wait four hours to respond to me again, please. <laughs> Uh, they they should have talked about asked. it in their staff chat beforehand to yeah. like figure out what the um what needs to be done. Yeah, and then one person responds. Yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know if the management or whatever are overruling decisions. I I'm a bit out of the loop since some of my admin contacts are no longer on the staff team. Uh, did someone bring from <laughs> back? <laughs> uh, and Taze as well good guy uh, uh, who else do we need oh I need Edgy back he used to tell me things I would just bring Nay back on Adam term. fuck off Nay you were watching 13 reasons why I didn't have a meeting <laughs> why are you leaking what I did at Advent meetings what the fuck bro it's funny because uh, I was doing it with you uh, we also crashed out do you guys think if there was uh, a UMG styled quote unquote attack on VSV. Like someone tries to steal oh, their name. Like a new org specifically targeted VSV <laughs> to steal their days. Do you okay, think uh, hold up, hold up. that they could kill VSV like that? Hold up. Wait, you wait, never targeted anyone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just... be, oh, Rip Rip Republic hundred percent targeted L L C. When yeah, I well. joined E C B I was like advocating for them to take TMG's days because those orgs are fucking they're like, they were super dog shit. Wait, wait, you wanna... Like, do you think if someone did that to BSV, it would work at the moment? Uh, at depends. the moment, I say yes. It, it depends, right? Okay. Because, are we talking, like, funded? Like, heavily funded? Because... Yeah, actually. I mean, you, they'd need some sort of funding, yeah, actually right? has pricing. Yeah, um, because I... It's funny... Say pricing equivalent to that of whatever BSV offers. Uh... uh... If you if it's real, true, 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 yes. Yeah, it, it kind of depends, right? Because the the shitter teams, right? They will they'll drift to the one that doesn't have the top tier teams. Yeah. Because it's an easier bracket to win. Yeah. And that's what the people do nowadays. So. And that's... But the top it teams will probably want to play the top teams of the bracket. Yeah. Yeah, that would. It um, also depends on who's in charge. Who's you running it? Right. Um, Does when Gilmshi happened, what you'd envy me and Puyola? Who did everything? I did. I did fuck all. I had my boy. I, I actually I did the stream. That was so fucking boring. I had to sit <laughs> there and watch Alpha fucking run it down uh, into IQ Gap, and then watch IQ Gap run it down. Yeah, because you had great like, the three of us, and yet a lot of people knew who we were. Yeah, and a lot of people liked us as well. Most of us, come on. <laughs> um, we got we got Arcane's um. Well, he got he got his fucking Discord account banned. Oh no, it wasn't for the image on why he got banned. Uh, but that's hilarious. Uh, um, it, it wasn't because of the image on why he got banned. I know why he got banned. He's just an idiot. Leaking, leaking or not? Oh, you just use fucking better Discord, oh, and you should banned. <laughs> Don't you use it? No, I don't have it anymore. But, but uh, Jep. You brought up LLC, right? 
I I have a funny story, and then that that okay. might be cool. It depending on what you guys want to say about the story. When LSC did that fucking well, they've already smurfed in the event. They might as well just let them play. Um, I think it was because it was on the like the admins teams. It was like Lotus something. Yeah, it was uh, Dawnfire's team, right? Yeah. I think yeah. So. And though, so it was pretty much like, well, they've done it. Might as well let them play. And I'm pretty sure <gasps> I lost anyway. But the community was pissed because obviously everyone else was like, wow, they're breaking the rules and and whatnot. I, right then and there, I said to BSV in our chat, we take their day. Because we were looking at like expanding to another day. And I was like, we take Tuesdays. Because that's, that's yeah. the way it was at the time. And because no, no fucking good team, because at the time I had like heaps of pull. I could, I could have got fucking most of the, the good teams and then the rest would have to come because otherwise it would be no right prizing because you need like eight teams or some shit. Yeah. I think you would have got every team because I think people were pissed off at LSC yeah. for doing yeah. that shit. Like the smurfing happened during finals playoffs. Yeah. Which a team fuck. was eliminated because of smurfs. And what did they do? They just like, they're out now. They don't get to like yeah. replay the match even. Yeah. That's yeah. sort of, that's sort so... of fun. But because at the time, my the uh, BSV admin team, I don't want to say it was soft, but they didn't have like the same like killer instinct that I would have had for that. And they're like, well, what if we bring LRC with us and we we let them run the day, but they're doing it under BSV's banner? I was like, bro, people are going to fucking see through that. Can't do why, that. Why would we bring the fucking tainted org? With us, where we have, like, the rising org. Why would you want to bring them yeah, if they're doing yeah. it wrong? Yeah, right? Uh, well, it was like, they could come under our wing, would have more manpower. And I was like, or, we take their day, and we force them to come bend the knee. Right? Because they, they would have had to. Like, I'm sorry, but they would have had no one. And, so even if we then bring some of their staff team on, it's... Like, the leverage is even higher in our favor because we've already done it to them, you know? It, it, it sounds, like, very, very cynical, but it's, it's straight up the way the world works. Then, the next fucking day, I'm pretty sure I got the message from, it was either you or G-Bear, about fucking Rift Republic. And I, I posted it in the admin chat, and instantly I got accused about working with you guys. Because of, because fuck? it's exactly what I had fucking said to do, and I was like, nah, this isn't me. But fuck them, right? Because I was like, ah, because the reason why Rift Republic worked is I'm pretty sure it was based on the fact that of, well, AGC Dust can't play because they're admitting, well, best team can't play. Like, I'm pretty sure that was like the slogan. AGC Dust still played. I think they just. Uh, like, it was weird. I I was conflicted about them playing because then we'd get accused of being biased or whatever, but I'm pretty sure they just changed their name and played under a different name. Oh, Because well, none I of the know. actual admins were on the team at that point, I don't think. No. Well, it was like the admin team, right? Whoever was on the admin team couldn't play. Oh, anymore. we were associated with them for sure. Yeah. But, like, Griff and whoever else still played, Griff, Bang, Bang... I don't know. But nah, it was uh, it was great. I I I quite liked Rift Republic for most of it. M most most of the parts, right? Um, it did, but nah. If if the attack was done, and it's it's kind of like what ECB kind of did. They they shook things up by coming in, and then obviously with there being no competition at the moment, because I don't really fucking count Evict Clan. As competition, like, I don't I'm... count lit team either. I don't think BSV have good competition at the moment. Nah, but if... like TMG cancels an event every week, it's so fucked. It's every event they cancel, and they like... they still have not learnt anything. I don't know. Like it's just it's because of the admin team. The admin team has such a bad reputation for like most of them. Like I'm sorry, but what the fuck did they do? Because. They've, got, they've still got some of their good staff members. But then they've got the shitters at the top who no one likes. So, no one goes and plays. I think BSV 
the admin team are getting a bad name as well. They get yeah, like, I don't know, but part of that like, you can blame part of that on us. We've talked shit about BSV several times. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. We've also tried to help them, like... Multiple times. I, I've suggested stuff. Uh, other people... Like, it's fair enough that they don't want to listen to me. A few of them dislike me for probably good reasons, but... I mean, you want to go BSV scumfucks or what? Okay. I don't think Josh <laughs> dislikes me that much, but yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said other things as well. But, like, there are other people in the community that are, like, straight up not happy, and I, I think they've tried to speak up, but, yeah, like, someone was telling me the other day that they wanted to be speed and listen to the people more in the, like, player rep chat. Yeah. What player rep chat? The player rep chat is gone, though, because I have real. Is it? Is that still chat? Oh, no, no, it's still I'm, there. It's I'm called still Team here. Chat. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I'm still here too. I don't even have a team, yeah. but I'm here. I don't know if you were in the call the other day, but yeah, someone was saying that... Yeah, they don't have all that much faith in BSV staff. I, I do. I hope they fix things, but like... Yeah, yeah I don't know. They, they need to start listening to their own staff and to the community. Yeah. I, I, I just think having so many people leave is a bad bad like, sign yeah especially since it is a behind the scenes and a lot of them aren't wanting to talk out however if you are wanting to talk out i'm, I'm more than happy <laughs> to have you on sit down with envy right and we can we can talk things through uh cough cough prom if you're listening uh, i'm pretty sure uh who else is there like like i get sometimes uh, i don't think Hintes likes me but <laughs> I get there, uh, like, because it is volunteer, and the community does put stress on you, because, you know, if, even if objectively it's the right call, if the call isn't favoured towards your team, you're going to be pissed off at the call, because it happens, right? You know, you want to win, which is fair. That's and... why the calls need to be based off the rules that are written down yeah. beforehand, I, and that people can't argue. That. They will still try and argue, though. Because that is the nature of everything competitive. The rule, and like there's, there will always be some kind of loophole. Or some kind of special fucking exception. Or, because it, it's the nature of of humans. But I, I don't know if, if there has to be an exception or a loophole though. Bro, have you not seen people try and skirt the rules 24-7? Like... <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, Nave, I'm dropping you on it. Motherfucker, you tried to have goal four players on your roster to try and drop you into div three. Okay, but then that's easily fixed. They should have already... They should have only been basing it off the five highest players. I don't know why they're counting everyone right, on the up, roster. Hold up. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. You said I had gold four players, right? Who are my gold fours? Okay, at the time, you had Trashkin and Hirogi before they were not allowed. What, Hirogi? No, Hirogi was part three. Was he, though? Hirogi is Prat 3, he was always Prat 3. Holy shit, Hirogi, you can't come back to Iron Gold now? <laughs> um, Trash Tan was, yeah, because it was how I get the energy to convince Hirogi to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it works, right? You, you yeah, get yeah, Trash Tan, yeah. you get Hirogi. I'm just like, hey, Trash Tan, come be sub for my team. <laughs> Bring Hirogi, otherwise don't come, right? <laughs> no, as I told Hirogi, right? Hirogi right, was always not calm, but right? having Trash Tan meant I was down to Hirogi. Yeah. And I always wanted Hirogi. Yeah, of course you do. But so Trash Town was just direct a benefit of me. Oh yeah, if I did a sub, you yeah, added me one week after Trash Town. Yeah, if you need. That yeah, if you bring up a different down. time, yeah, yeah, there has been a lot of other types of standard rules. Yeah, well, like I, I've done it too, right? I was once told I'm the reason why I'm the gold of shit. Um, <laughs> that's you know... completely false. I'm, yeah, you've told me who told you that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. that's you're not the reason. There's a lot of know, rules I have started. My, oh, yeah. my bad for trying to play with Connor and Sherry when they were both eligible by BSV rules. Holy yes, shit, so I'm sorry. So then it's the rules fault. Yeah. Um, no, you can't... I don't know. I think that was a dumb time when they like, said no to them specifically. Which, right? There's other people who you should have said no to, Pran, but... Yeah, it's, just aim people who you know. It's, uh, it's also... It's very hard when... Because people's feelings come into the mix. Yeah. And when people are at the top and they have the power to invoke their will on people who they don't like, 
it's that's very very shit. fucking obvious that it's happening you know we bring up the the rule discussion of you win iron the plate you can't play iron the gold <laughs> who like, was that aimed at <laughs> us like fucking there, there shouldn't be a top though like it should all be a discussion and like a vote yeah yeah, but... Like, I don't know how you can say one person's opinion matters more than someone else's. Like, I get, like, that's sort of the way the world works sometimes, but I don't think that it's fair or the way that it should work. Yeah. I mean, again, the issue comes down to someone has to wear the crown. Like, I'm, like, someone has this... to make the final decision. It can be, it can be someone's, like idea like if you think that that change needs to be made like someone can bring up a vote but like i still think that there should be a vote that's how riff republic worked that's how ecb should have worked like we had things where and if an admin was making a decision they had to check with like one other admin first at least yeah you always have to check with but another like... person to make sure you're able to do it which is how it should work yeah, right? well... you shouldn't be able to make a ruling by yourself BSV has always been a dictatorship, okay? Great. If you're doing a bid change, I think every admin has to vote. Every admin should vote if it's a bid rule change. Oh, no, I, I agree with that. Right. And then, I think, then you base it off, off, right, how many votes each has. If it comes down to a tie, then the sole owner should get the choice on what happens. Yeah. But again... Remember, only one person owns the Discord server. Yeah. Right? Which and means <laughs> if, if they are that type of person, they can be like, fuck you, it's happening my way. You know, my way yeah. or my way. I definitely uh, know what you mean by that one. Yeah, yeah um, I know that one. Because it used to happen in BSV all the time. <laughs> and other places, yeah. Uh, and ECB. <laughs> okay, nay. I didn't think we were dropping that one too. Oh, okay. drop it. The ECB was full of arguments, and they shouldn't have been arguments, to be fair. They should have been votes. Yeah. There was a lot of arguments in, those, in that chat. I will say, some of them were started because of me. Yeah, well, now you like to start arguments a lot, okay. Some I people just, just like I just think you should be. I just think you should always be allowed to emote in 20s. The ECB has, has like, the same problem that you're talking about, right? Like, the sort of hierarchy thing, yeah. because it was, like... Kusho and then Ubi, I suppose. But like but Ubi Kusho Ubi gave was... up the ownership. Yeah. It's not like it was like lorded over him twenty four seven beforehand. Yeah. Um and when you have your face. when you have someone who is willing to use the fact that he is the owner to get his way and if he doesn't get his way he'll be like, Well you're off the staff team you know? You know, fuck you, this is happening my way. It's, it makes it, it's a very big reason of why in the past, before the current management, BSV lost a lot of upper management staff members. Right? It lost, you know, names like Dusty and Edgy and myself. Because it was a dictatorship. And it's why, more so them than me, but why are they putting in the work just to be like, well, it's not happening that way. It's happening my way. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. And it sucks, but it's the way of the world. There will always be a hierarchy, it's just... You need the person who, at the top, who will just listen to other people. And won't have it that way. But it's very hard to get that sort of person. Right. We've been, we've been talking for a wee while now. Do you guys have anything final you want to say? Uh, sub to Pistro. Okay. It's Don't like... watch Pistro. Okay, nay, what the fuck? It's wrong, wrong one? Wrong podcast? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, sub to Jetman on YouTube. Also wrong, wrong thing. Ah. Uh. No, I... okay. Uh. I'm still not just... sub to Envy on YouTube. I feel bad. No patch rundown videos? Yeah. Yeah, actually, bring my patch from them. No. <laughs> actually, maybe one day. <laughs> Told you, when you bring it back, I'll sub. <laughs> what about you, Jip? Any final thoughts? Uh, no. I just hope that 
everyone's having a good day and that yeah BSV yeah. improve themselves which I think they they were trying to according to people oh who are the people no fuck you I don't know man you don't want to leak the ends but that's fine well you've been on Envy's channel and this has been sit down with Envy number guys what number is this Sure. Channel, bro. bro, it's my channel, but... Is it four? Nah, it must be like six, right? I, I did one with Flinch. Fuck, it's been a while. Yeah, six. Episode six. Right. <laughs> we'll try that again. This has been Envy's channel, and you've been watching Sit Down With Envy, uh, special guest Jetman and Neymar. Thank you boys for, for coming on. It's been a very, very good discussion. And we out. I just want to feel you're alone.